Hello, good evening, friends. Welcome to UGC Online Pre Coaching. This is fourth video lecture. I am solving uh, December 2004 question paper. First of all, we will see uh, question number 31 to 40. In December 2004, UGC Net asked the 31st question is which activity is not included in the first pass of two pass assembler? In system programming, there are three questions based on system programming. First of all, we will see uh, both the passes, two pass assembler in first pass. First pass is, uh, these are the characteristic of first pass. Define symbol table and literals means define symbols and literals in first pass. Second one is determine length of the machine instructions. Then keep track of location counter means use location counter in first pass only. Remember values of the symbol until second pass. So be careful remembering values of the symbols in first pass. These values used in second pass. So that is also uh, use of first pass. And fourth one process some pseudo ops like equals uh, DC component or DS like that. Remember literals that is also one of the characteristic of first pass. These are the characteristic of first pass. There are five characteristic define symbol and literals. Determine the length of the machine instruction. Keep track of location counter. Remember values of symbols until pass to process some pseudo ops like equals DS, DC. Remember literals. Second pass, generate object program. Look up value of the symbols. Generate instructions. Generate data for DS and DC and literals. Means related to process. And uh, last one is process pseudo ops. These are the characteristic of pass two. So now look at 31st question. Which activity is not included in the first pass of two pass assembler? Definitely answer is B. Because in first pass, uh, first option is build the symbol table. That is the um, first pass characteristic. And separate mnemonics of course and occurrence fields that is also one of the characteristic of first pass so answer is b construct the intermediate code construct the intermediate code in second pass it's not a first pass so question is which activity is not included in the first pass of two pass assembler first pass of two pass assembler construct the intermediate code it is not included in the first pass i hope you understood this question next one is which of the following is not collision resolution techniques? Here, first of all, we try to understand what is collision. When an element is inserted, if it hashes to the same value as an already inserted element, then we have a collision. When an element is inserted, if it is hashes to the same value as an already inserted element, same means two values inserted same location that is called collision hash addressing and chaining are the kind of collision resolution technique actually collision resolution techniques are separate chaining and open addressing in open addressing again three types linear probe, probing quadratic probing probing and double hashing these are the collision resolution techniques now here question is which of the following is not collision resolution technique in examination suddenly you may select hash addressing because it is a collision re resolution technique while reading the question be careful it is not which is not collision resolution technique here indexing is technique is which does not employ me collision resolution strategy means indexing is not a collision resolution technique Hash addressing and chaining are the types of collision resolution techniques. I hope you understood this question. Be careful while answering these questions. Collision resolution techniques are hash addressing and chaining but not indexing. So answer is D.
next question is code optimization is responsibility of application programmer system programmer operating system and all of the above definitely it is not a operating system means what definitely answer is not a d because all of the above means all three so you try to answer like this question operating system it is not inappropriate of this question so uh, option d and option c mark out now application programmer system programmer code optimization is definitely it is a system programmer because you are not writing the code you are optimizing if you are writing the code it is related to application programmer but system programmer in he should optimize the code so answer is b code op optimization optimization is the part of system programming it compiles defining the code optimization phase in, in is in calculated to name better code so it is a responsibility of system programs to do the code optimization it's not application programmer so system programmer responsibility of code optimization technique so option is b next question is which activity is included in the first pass of two pass assembler already i have explained uh, what are the operations included in first pass what are the operations included in second pass so this question answer is what okay, is which activity is included in the first pass of two pass assembler build the symbol table this is definitely it is a first pass because building the symbol and letter tables in first pass definitely answer is a look at the other construct the intermediate code this is the second pass Op um, operation separate mnemonic of op code and operands that is also a second pass so answer is a build the symbol table that is which activity is included in the first pass of two pass assembler first pass included build the symbol table so answer is a in two pass assembler the symbol table used to store i have it already i have told you same type of question asked three questions in a different way so symbol table is used to store already i have explained in labels and their values because symbol table is store labels and their values to use in a second pass so answer is symbol table are used to store labels and its corresponding values to use to pass assembler in means second pass so answer is a semaphore are used to semaphores majorly used to prevent the deadlock when it when it is useful semaphore are a variable whose values can be accessed and altered only by the wait and signal may be process tries to access the same critical section so uh, it is used wait and signal based on the values of wait and signal it will work so semaphore are used to synchronize critical resource to prevent the deadlock uh, if you know major work of semaphore used to prevent the deadlock here option d there is no word option c also only option a and b here prevent the deadlock here prevent the contention obviously based on these this keyword you may select but according to the answer is semaphore is variable whose values can be accessed and altered only by the wait and signal may process tries to access the same critical section so answer is a next one in which of the following sto storage replacement strategies is the is a program placed in the largest hole in the memory here based on the memory locations based on the memory holes there are four types one is first pit first pit best pit worst pit and buddy first of all we will see all the uh, all four options then we will look at the question because in this question may asked largest available hole in the memory sometime it may be smallest available hole in the memory may ask uh, future so 
Now, first of all, we will see all the four types. Best fit holes are held in a list of increasing order in best fit. Segment placed in a smallest hole possible can leave many holes small holes. Just negation of best fit holes listed in decreasing order here increasing order best fit increasing worst fit decreasing order here segment placed in a smallest hole possible here largest hole available worst fit largest hole available okay and can leave many small holes will leave large holes that can be filled here leave small holes here large holes so i hope you understood what is the difference between best fit and worst fit in first pit, holes listed in an increasing order as like in a best pit, but first hole that can hold segment is used. Here, segment placed in a smallest hole, here first hole, both are in increasing order. In first pit, it is select first best, best segment. Here, no overhead of sorting blocks of free space. Okay, there is no overhead here. Similarly, body segment size are increase integer power of two. Here, increasing size, decreasing size, increasing size. Base yeah, depends on base address in first bit. But here, integer power two. Three segments of the same size are held in separate list. If a free block of that size is available, then it is allocated and removed from the free list. Otherwise, next available larger segment is split into two bodies of equal size. The first half is allocated and second half added to the appropriate free list. Means if it is a large hole, split into two equal size, first size used for a body and second one used for free list. This is uh, based on placement um, phase um, placement strategies. Now look at the question. In which of the following storage replacement strategies is a program that placed in the largest available hole in the memory? First bit is smallest, best bit also smallest. Here, largest available hole in the memory is worst bit. So, answer is C. Uh, it may uh, many times ask this question. Sometimes it is largest available, sometimes smallest available, sometimes it may be uh, based on. Uh, uh, increasing order or decreasing order so be careful this uh, it's a very important question uh, please go through it one second 38 question remote computing system involves the use of time sharing system and remote computing system involves time sharing system and batch processing it is a direct question if you know uh, remote computing systems which uh, systems are involved one is time sharing system, another one is batch processing. So answer is batch processing system. If you this is answer is B. Now non-modifiable procedure are called non-modifiable here modifiable procedures and non-modifiable procedures. Non-modifiable procedures always it is a pure and return procedures. It is a characteristic of non-modifiable procedure is pure procedure another one is return procedure so uh, refer for this question book operating system by dr rc juicy page number 146 answer is non modifiable procedures are called return procedure so answer is c be careful this one asked um, two to three times repeatedly same question so be careful then 40th question match the following here some operating system uh, types of operating system and their working disk scheduling batch processing time sharing interrupt processing here round robin in part 2 scan and last in first out manner and first in first, in first out manner uh, in uh, like this question if you know one option is correctly then you can easily understand most of the time but not necessarily all the time here you know that time sharing system works on round robin manner so sorry uh, 
time sharing system means answer is C time sharing system works in round robin manner so answer there are two one is option C and option D another one is interrupt now one more disk scheduling we know that that is works on basis of scan so option A is 2 A is 2 is only option C so option C is right answer option C means disk scheduling is a it works on the principle of scan batch processing is first in first out manner time sharing system is works on the principle of round robin scheduling and interrupt processing is works on last in first out manner i hope uh, you understood all the questions uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe the channel and um, promote share it uh, and if you have any queries you may mail me and uh, uh, please uh, inform and share and inform your friends thank you one and all